Hi there everyone. Today I'm going to make a corn pudding. A few months back I made a corn chowder that was really delicious and it's summertime and so we have lots of corn. Um, I did buy some on sale about a month ago and I froze some so I took this out of the freezer to do my corn pudding. So a few months back I purchased this corn cob peeler where you can just easily peel off the corn instead of using a knife and it came the day I finished making my corn chowder. So this is a really fun, delicious recipe and it's super easy to make. So I'm going to show you how. You're going to want to melt four tablespoons of butter. Okay, we're going to start with five eggs and then what you want to do is you're going to add three tablespoons of cornstarch. I always put like a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and you're going to have like a quarter teaspoon of like pepper and like a teaspoon and a half of salt. So I'm going to just do this all together because it, it just whisks everything really good. And you can do a mixer too, but I'm doing a whisk. And you want to really whisk this really well or mix it in your mixer, however you choose to do it. But it gets a lot of air incorporated in here and makes it real uh, sheeny, mixed together really well. So I'm going to kind of whisk this part for about two minutes. So we have our eggs nice and smooth like we want. We wanted to incorporate everything else. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of sugar. Whisk that together. And we're going to add our four tablespoons of melted butter. After it's cooled a little, whisk that together. And now you're going to add two cups of whole milk. Whole milk is what you want to use because it makes it much richer. And if you want, you can add half and half, or you could even add heavy cream if you wanted. But the whole milk, I find, is just about right. So I'm going to mix this together till it's fully incorporated. And I'll be right back. Okay, you're going to want to remove the corn from your cobs. And we want four cups of kernels. Um, if you want, you could also get canned corn or frozen corn, in, like if it's in the winter time and you don't have fresh corn. Um, but we're gonna use about four cups of corn kernels. And you can use a knife if you don't have one of these. This is so awesome. It just takes the corn off so easy. So I'm going to finish doing this until I get about four cups. You want to grease a pan. Um, this happens to be a kind of a very small, uh, it's a 12 by 7, which is kind of a rare size. But you could use any size you want that's relatively like a 9 by 9 or a 9 by 13. It'll either be thinner or thicker. So now, after that, we're going to add our corn. Um, I don't have four cups of corn. I thought I did, but... I didn't. I have plenty of corn in the freezer. I just didn't take out enough. But we're going to do this anyway. We're going to kind of lightly stir it. It isn't going to be as robust because it doesn't have as much corn, which normally you want to put four cups of corn. And this is going to be like a souffle. It's not a cornbread. It's a pudding, like a souffle. So now, after you uh, preheat your oven to 375, you're going to pour in your egg mixture and milk and everything, the corn, all the goodies. And we're going to put this in the oven to bake about 50 minutes. So I will see you in 50. Here's our finished corn pudding. So we're going to let it cool probably about 15 minutes before we try it. Looks delicious. Took 50 minutes exactly. One thing you will see is on the edges, it kind of pulls away from the edge, and that's normal. So when you see that, you'll know that that's part of this dish. So my finishing touch might be different from someone else's, but the nutmeg that I put in here has a very fragrant scent. While you're baking it, your whole kitchen smells like it, even though you only put about a quarter teaspoon of it in. So to garnish it, I just put some scallions, or you could use um, chives, or like I said, parsley. I just kind of garnish it like this. And then I take a, just a smidgen 
of a little bit more nutmeg and just kind of sprinkle it over, give it a little more fragrance. If you don't like nutmeg, don't use it, that's fine. So now we're going to slice this up and taste it. Doesn't that look awesome? That's what it is. It's like an egg custard pudding. Let's give it a try. Okay, here it is. Looks good and it smells absolutely wonderful. Very delicious. So we're going to use a spoon for this because it's like a souffle pudding. So let's give it a try. It's still warm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. I didn't use four cups of corn. I probably used half the amount. And it's still delicious. It still has that same corn pudding consistency and taste. Um, but if you want it more like hearty with more corn, use the full four cups. But this is just as good. It really is. Absolutely delicious. So, I hope you give this a try. Summertime's the perfect time. Although this is a holiday dessert, a lot of times they use frozen or canned corn, but you can have it any time of the year, especially summer with fresh corn. So, I hope you give this a try. Thank you.